Hi, my name is Margaret Ann and I'm on the product team here at Statsig and today we're going to do a quick demo of our experimentation product. Let's hop in. While Statsig offers more advanced experimentation capabilities such as holdouts and multi-arm bandits, Statsig's marquee experimentation product is our ABN testing tool. So let's hop in and take a look. With experiments, you can run ABN multivariate tests on your product configurations, infrastructure, middleware, you name it, you can test it with Statsig. With experiments, you can define a hypothesis as well as primary and secondary regression metrics. You can use Statsig's power analysis calculator to ensure you're calculating the right target duration based on the metrics that you're looking to move. Once you've configured your groups that you want to experiment on, as well as your targeting, you can ex use our powerful statistical analyses such as Cupid, which corrects for pre-experiment bias, as well as sequential testing, which kind of dynamically expands or contracts your confidence intervals, depending on how long the experiment has run, ensuring that you can run statistically rigorous experiments in less time. Once you've started your experiment, results are surfaced via the scorecard, or what we call Pulse. These are accessible to everyone on the team to be able to deep dive into the results. We've built Statsic's core experience leveraging a design principle called progressive disclosure, which creates a seemingly simple experience on the surface that can become more and more complex and powerful for more power users. This means that this product is very accessible to everyone on the team. Good example is you can click into a metric view to see the metric details, the raw stats underlying the computation, as well as the time series of the metric deltas to be able to detect things like novelty effects and whether they might be at play. You can also look at how metrics are trending along a certain set of logged metric dimensions. These are configured and logged alongside the incoming events and calculated automatically in experiment results. If you see this and you still are saying, hmm, I wonder what's going on here, there's a counterintuitive result, you can create a custom query using Statsig's Explore tab. So for example, I could calculate product view and slice it by OS to see if this is disproportionately coming from Android or an iOS audience. When it comes to final experiment readout, the experiment summary is a place that provides a one-stop shop for memorializing critical experiment decision context, including a final snapshot of the test groups, results, and any key, key takeaways. Finally, as your team ramps up on experimentation practice at scale, you can zoom out to see a meta-analysis of your experimentation trends via the Insights tab. With Insights, you see a bird's eye view timeline of all your experiments, along with the top line metric impact for each experiment. You can also build up your team's knowledge bank of experiment results, where you can memorialize historical experiments run and decisions made for future generations. All right. That's a quick recap of Statsig's core experimentation product, but to try it out for yourself, head on over to statsig.com, try our demo, or create an account. See you in the console.